What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to once again compare the 1520 and the Sony Xperia Z1 compact uh, camera performance. The reason why I'm comparing once again is because uh, today I have updated my Sony Xperia Z1 compact to Android 4.4.2 uh, KitKat and one of the main uh, highlights of this update is the improved camera performance. So. I want to compare because uh, there was uh, one subscriber who was commenting that uh, that the performance of the Z1 compact camera will get better than 1520. Although the comment was not based on uh, some logic because uh, one can easily say otherwise as well because uh, the comment was not based on some logical conclusion or comparison. Anyways here is once again. A small comparison this time there is uh, no doubt that the new update has uh, brought some pleasing additions to the camera performance however if you compare the 1520 and the Z1 compact then you will find that uh, still the 1520 photos are cleaner with less noise and still little bit better colors at times uh, yes 1520 colors are a little bit oversaturated but most of the time they are uh, pretty good and don't uh, actually confuse the 1520 with the 1020 colors because 1020 has different sort of colors than the 1520. And in this photo maybe 1520 has slightly more punchier color but in the next shots you will uh, find that the 1520 colors are actually better and once again Z1 Compact you can see the building on the right hand side it was little bit uh, overexposed whereas you will not find anything uh, like that on 1520 you can see on the left z1 compact photo was overexposed and uh, but the 1520 now is uh, showing good colors and this is the trend actually on the daylight shots the even after the update Z1 uh, compact still has little bit at times uh, overexposure. Uh, it does not happen all the time but only in uh, very intense uh, situations in under direct sunlight. Most of the time it uh, takes very nice photos and with the new update the noise is very well controlled and the colors are also slightly better. And in this particular shot, the Canon 60 is exposing pretty accurately. And once again, you can see it's the building is a little bit too bright on Z1 Compact. And 1520 once again is better in that regard. And also the sky has uh, much less uh, noise as compared to the Z1 Compact. And if you do one-on-one -on -one comparison of uh, both photos, then you will find that 1520 photos are also sharper than the Z1 Compact. Before uh, jumping on to some conclusion, it is uh, more advisable to download the actual photos and you can compare them yourself and you will find that the 1520 photos are having a better quality. This particular shot is shot at ISO 800 on uh, both phones and uh, look the 1520 photo is still more clear than the Z1 compact photo in terms of noise even at ISO 800. As far as the color accuracy goes then the 1520 is also not a champion of color accuracy but comparing the 1520 with the Z1 compact then uh, I believe 1520 has nailed the colors more times than the Z1 compact. This particular shot is taken by Sony RX100 and look the Z1 Compact is still washed out and the red color is not red. Whereas the Lumia 1520 is showing much better colors and more closer to Sony RX100. And notice the wall and the flowers it's red on Sony RX100 Z1 Compact again. Again not red and washed out whereas the 1520 photo is showing red color. Uh, wall and the uh, flowers although the noise was little bit more on 1520 shot but if i shot uh, on the manual mode on the z1 compact as well then i will also get uh, more noise but uh, slightly better color only if i lower the iso to 200 but shooting in manual mode 
is uh, not that great for example this particular shot i have actually reduced the iso to 100 but the z1 compact does not adjust the shutter speed according to the iso which is not a good thing whereas the 1520 does uh, adjust the shutter speed if you change the ISO and let the shutter speed in the auto mode and it will automatically make the shutter speed uh, slow if you lower the ISO so that it can take more light and that's exactly how most DSLR works and that's how the camera should react but the Z1 Compact fails to do that so the trick of uh, putting the phone in the manual mode and lowering the ISO to get less noise and better colors does not work all the time because if you reduce the ISO too much then the exposure will drop down and the picture will be much much darker than what you what you require so i will recommend to stick with the superior auto mode the superior auto mode sony has uh, tweaked uh, in this uh, latest update and believe me it's uh, much better than before there is a lot less noise and it's more cleaner but uh, still it's not as good as 1520 but if i don't compare with 1520 there's the shots are excellent and i will be totally happy with the z1 compact shots and uh, i will not feel any way that the camera is lacking anything if i don't compare it with other top end cameras so Z1 Compact does not have the best camera, but it is one of the best cameras. For uh, best camera, I will still look uh, towards the 1520 and 1020. So Lumia still has the edge in terms of still photography. In my next video, I'm going to explain that what Sony has uh, changed in the camera performance. And I haven't actually got any official news from the Sony, but what I have found uh, during my own testing today and I will share you my findings and I will share you that how and uh, what changes Sony has brought and how the pictures are looking better than before, why they are looking better than before. So guys, I hope uh, that you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like that. Take care. And guys, uh, if you already own the Z1 Compact, then be happy with your camera. It is an awesome camera and there is no need to feel bad about uh, anything or thinking that why z1 compact is not a winner here because there is always something better and uh, 1520 is also not a perfect camera there are so many weaknesses on the 1520 camera as well which i want uh, nokia to fix but if i compare the two cameras then obviously yeah this is the result so it's totally up to you if even if uh, you don't want to admit that's fine with me i don't have any issues this video is not for the z1 compact owners this is intended for the potential owners so that they can know how the camera performance is and once again i'm telling you the camera performance of this device is very good there is no doubt about that one but it's not the best camera as some people might uh, think that this is the best camera out there no it's not is it the best camera no is it one of the best? Yes, obviously it is one of the best cameras. There is no doubt about that one. Hardware and software, everything is pretty good. Sony needs to actually optimize the manual controls more and bring more to the table. They need to add the shutter speed and uh, other goodies that the Nokia phones has. See you. Take care. Bye.